Hello students, I welcome you all to Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Uh, now we are going to solve this problem which says that the 4 kg smooth collar has a speed of 3 meter per second when it is at s equals to 0. Determine the maximum distance as it travels before it stops momentarily and the spring has an unstretched length of 1 meter. So at A, the velocity is 3 meters per second. So we can apply the uh, law of conservation of energy, which says that the kinetic energy at A plus the potential energies at A, that will be equal to the kinetic energy at point B plus the potential energies at point B. So since here we have the spring, so we will have the elastic potential energy and the gravitational potential energy. So, this Va can be split into two potential energies. So, the kinetic energy at point A is, we can say that that is 1 divided by 2, the mass is 4 and the velocity at A is 3 meter per second. So, that is 3 square plus uh, the elastic potential energy at A plus the gravitational potential energy at A. So, for gravitational potential energy at A, we have to define our datum line. So, our datum line is at B. So, this is our datum line for the gravitational potential energy. So, now the elastic potential energy at A, let me write it here, the elastic potential energy at A will be equal to 1 divided by 2 k and the change in length at A or we can say that the stretch in the spring at A. So, that is x A square. So, is it is given that the unstretched length is 1 meter. So, the, uh, we can say that the original length of the spring is 1 meter and at A the stretch length is at A the stretch length is 1.5 meters. From here we can say that this is 1.5 meters. So, now we can say that the when the collar is at A, the stretch in the spring is x a, which, which will be equal to this uh, stretch length at a. Let me write that this is stretch length at a minus the original length or the unstretched length. So, that is 1.5 minus 1. So, it gives us 0 0.5, 0 0.5 meter. So, uh, when the collar is at a, the spring is stretched to a length of 0 0.5 meters. So, we can say that this is 1 divided by 2 and k is 100, this is given, this is 100, so 100 and this is 0 0.5 square. So, this is 50 into, let me find it, this is 100 divided by 2 is 50, so 50 multiplied by 0 0.5 square, this gives us 12.5, uh, this is 12.5 joule. And similarly, the gravitational potential energy at A is always determined by W times H and H is the distance from the datum line. So, weight is, as we know that the mass is 0 0.4 multiplied by 9.81 and this is the H and the S, this is that maximum distance. Let us say that this S is S max. So, we have to find that S max. So, I will write this as S max. So, this is 0 0.4 into 0 0.4 into 9.81. So, this is uh, 3.924. So, let me write that this is 3. Point three point nine two four 3.924 S max. So, now we can write that this is this is the elastic potential energy is at A is 12.5 joules. So, we will write it as 12.5 and remember that if this is the datum line then uh, here the, the gravitational potential energy is positive since we are going in this direction and this is the positive direction of the gravitational potential energy. So, the gravitational potential energy is positive. So, this is plus 3.5. 9 to 4 s max and now uh, it is said that determine the maximum distance s it travels before it stops momentarily so the velocity at b is 0 so the velocity at b is 0 then the kinetic energy at b is 0 as well so we are left with the uh, 
elastic potential energy at B and the gravitational potential energy at B. So, since the collar is at B and the datum line is at B, so the height from the datum line is 0. So, the gravitational potential energy at datum is always 0. So, the gravitational potential is 0 as well. So, this is 0. So, we are left with the elastic potential energy. Now, when the spring is at B, we have to find the stretch length. Again, the original length is 1 meter. So, the stretch length at B will be equal to this, uh, let us say if this point is O, so that will be equal to this OB length. So, let me write that this is that OB length and that will be equal to, we can find it by using the Pythagoras theorem since this is the hypotenuse of this right angled triangle. So, we can say that this will be S max square plus 1.5 square under the square root. And the stretchness in the spring at B will be equal to the stretch, this the length of the spring at B minus the unstretched length, which is the original length, right. So, we can say that this is S max square plus 1.5 square under the square root minus the unstretched length, which is 1 meters. So, this is the stretch in the spring when the collar is at B. So, this is that stretch in the spring. So, now uh, we, we can write this the elastic potential energy at V will be equal to 1 divided by 2 k, k is 100 and that will be x b square. So, now first let me simplify this, this is 4 divided by this is 2 and 2 into 9 is 18. So, this is 18 plus 12.5 plus 3.924 s max and that is 50 into x b square and this is x b. So, I will write it is s max square plus 1.5 square minus 1 and this is squared since this is x b square. So, now we can further simplify this is 18 plus 12.5 this gives us 30.5 uh, this is 30.5 plus 3.924 as max and then we can simplify this further this is uh, let me open up this square term right. So, that will be 50 and then this squared since this is a minus b squared formula. So, that will be s max square plus 1.5 square under the square root and then the square of this plus 1 squared and then minus 2 into this into this. So, that is s max plus 1.5 into 1. So, we will get this right. So, this is 30.5 plus 3.924 s max equals to. So, this is 50 and then this will cancel out. So, we will be left with s max square plus 1.5 square plus 1 squared is 1 and then minus 2 s max plus 1.5 under the square root. So, it can further be simplified as this is 30.5 plus 3.924 as max and then this will be 50 if I multiply this 50 inside so that is 50 as max square then 50 into 1.5 square so 50 multiply by 1.5 square this gives us 112.5 and then 15 to 1 is 50 and minus 2 
and this will be 50 into 2 so that is 100 right so this is 100 and s max plus 1.5 now i can add this this is 112.5 plus 50 this gives us 162.5 so this is 162.5 and now if i bring this as these two terms to the other side of equation So this will be, if I bring this to the other side of equations, so that will be minus 50 as max square plus this 3.924 as max. And then this uh, constant, this is 30.5. And then this will come to the other side. So that will be minus 162.5 and this we will leave this on the right hand side so that is minus 100 s max plus 1.5 and this is this is remember that this is 1.5 squared this is 1.5 squared and this is also squared this is s max squared s max squared so further we can add this 30.5 30.5 minus 162.5 this gives us minus 132 this is minus 132 and now if i multiply this whole equation with minus sign so this will become positive this will become negative this will become positive and this will become positive now we we have done a uh, small mistake here this uh, gravitational potential energy it is weight times h and the mass is 4 kgs right so i have used this as 0.4 so 4 times 9.81 is 39.24 this is this is 39.24 so we need to correct ourselves this is 39.24 as max this is 39.24 and similarly here we have that 39.24 this is also 39.24 so ultimately we will get this is 39.24 so this is 39.24 so now we have this equation but uh, there is no direct solution for this equation to find the s max value so to find the s max value we have to use the hit and trial method we need to plug in various values of s max let's say if we start from s max uh, equals to 1 meter and then increment it by 0.1 meter and we find the values of the left hand side and then we find the values of the right hand side of this equation and we find the value of s max for which the left hand side is equal to the right hand side so that will be our solution so we can do it by calculator but that will take a lot of time so i have made an excel sheet for this and we can find that solution very easily so from excel sheet we can see that uh, if if s max is equal to one meter so this is the left hand side where I have inserted that equation this is 50 times s max square minus 39.24 s max plus 132. So this is our left hand side and the right hand side is 100 times 100 times square root of that. So when s max is equal to one left hand side is 142.76 and the right hand side is 180 there is difference of uh, 37. Similarly when s max is 1.05 the difference is this. So if we look into this data, so somewhere here is very small difference that is 0 0.0.41129. Uh, so now we can plug in some values. Let's say if I write that this is 1.956, if you find the values for 956. So that is 246.54 and now the difference will become a bit more smaller that is 0 0.04 but in fact it has increased it is in the positive sense 
Now, so we can say that approximately our solution is between 1.95 and 1.956. So now let's say if I write that, let's say if I change this value to 1.952, let's say. So now the difference has been decreased, right? So this is minus 0 0.25. Let's say if we write that this is, let's say, uh, 1.953. So that is zero point, minus 0 0.18 and let's say if we make it point 1.954 so it has been increased again okay so it is decreased right so that is okay now if I write 1.955 so that is minus uh, 0 0.02 and now if I make it 1.956 so now if we look into this, so the, the difference has been increased, right? So we can say that this is our solution for S max. So this is our solution for S max. And now if I, if I plot a graph between the S max and the left hand side and the right hand side. So if we plot a graph, so they will intersect where our solution exists. So this is the plot of uh, left hand side. This The blue one is left hand side and the orange one is the right hand side and they intersect at 1.955 so the s max value for this problem is s max is we can say that x max value the solution is 1.955 meters so the distance uh, the color will travel to have a momentarily stop to have a velocity at point B equals to 0, so that distance will be 1.955 meters. So this is the solution of this particular problem. I hope this will help you in your learning. Do subscribe Engineers Academy if it helps in your learning. Also like this video for the solution of such more problems from Hibbler Dynamics.